I can't decide if I regret getting the Platinum Trophy in LEGO Batman 3. As part of my attempt to platinum as many superhero games as possible, my attention turned to LEGO Batman 3. LEGO games seem to be protected by this real niche of gamers known as nostalgic gamers. Gamers that, despite how bad a game is, will refuse to say a single negative thing about it. This applies to YouTubers as well. You'll actually be quite hard pressed to find more than a handful of negative videos on YouTube about LEGO games. But let me tell you this, these might be fun games to play in short doses, but the Platinum Trophy for this game was absolutely ridiculous. Now to get the Platinum, all you've got to do is beat the game, do the collectibles, and then some miscellaneous trophies. It sounds simple, but you'll have to watch this video to understand why it's such a ball ache. I put myself through a lot of tedious grind to get this Platinum and bring the video to you. So if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can try and convince myself that I didn't waste my time. Okay, so do, do, what do we do again? Just smash everything. For, for gold. For the money. For all the, all the monies. So we got this show on the road by chasing down Killer Croc as Batman and Robin. It's been a while since I played a Lego game, a long time, and I had completely forgotten how these games even work. Imagine getting stuck in the first section of fucking Lego Batman. <laughs> I don't need to imagine it because probably that's what's happening right now. Oh my god. I am an actual moron. Oh, there's Killer Croc. Hello. Oh, he's, he's on the run. After this little fumble at the beginning, it was time to face the first boss of the game, Killer Croc. And once again, I can't lie, I was confused. The gameplay loop for LEGO Batman 3 is actually quite a straightforward one when you actually figure out what you're doing. You run through the level until you can't run anymore. When you reach a dead end, you see if a character has a suit or an ability you can use on anything nearby. If they don't, you just smash everything up and build something LEGO based. It's simple. Overly simple. Some would go as far as say, quite repetitive and boring. But I definitely wouldn't say that. Then after finishing the first level, I was rewarded with a crash. Thank you. It's our first level done. Who knows? Lo long loading time. That's what I do know. Has the game actually broken here? Uh, yeah, um, the game's died. Isn't that great? Get down and... Oh, there we go. Pursuers in the sewers. First trophy. Only one. Ah. All that. Restart the game for one trophy. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know he could even do that. Oh, God. This is Batman with prep time. Oh, you just punch us off the edge, the little bastard. After that, the next level had us facing off against a giant mind-controlled Batman, but thankfully, Robin and Alfred kind of made quick work of him. Oh. Breaking bats. Finally. That was a long level. I was then given a taste of the VR missions. Yeah, they're going to overstay their welcome very quickly. I will smash three of them boxes. Wow. That is pretty poop. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not thrilled about having to do this. I'm not thrilled at all. So across the story, you face off against a variety of Batman Justice League related villains such as Joker, Lex Luthor, Firefly, Cheetah, and Sinestro. But that being said, this is a video about the platinum, not about the story, so you get the idea. After beating the main story, you'll have 16 of the base game trophies. And beating the story took me around 10 hours. It was a little fun jump down memory lane, but also it did make me realize the obvious. These games are for kids. They are simple and repetitive. Too repetitive, in fact. I can imagine a lot of kids actually not even finishing the story, because why would you when you got TikTok, right? The only saving grace for the story was the Adam West Batman 1966 level. It's hilarious, it's refreshing, and it's a lot of fun. So after beating the game, I did have mixed feelings about it, even after just 10 hours, and it was going to get a lot worse with the cleanup because the cleanup makes up around two thirds of the trophy list for the game. No, keep deleting the O, damn it. How do I get a play as them? I want to play as them though. Huh? I want to play as Blood Bro. No, this is taking way longer than it should. Let me tell you that. Oh, 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 use character mirror, mirror trophy. There's Blood Bro. Can you fly? Oh, look at that. I'm flying with my blue ring. I'm shooting blue things out, look. Oh, Platbro is fucking absolute giga chad. Woo! Platbro for life! Now the collectibles. The first trophy you should get while clearing up the collectibles is for achieving true hero status for a level. This is for earning the stud goal in any of the given levels. So during the cleanup, you will have to get 160 mini kits across the 16 levels, as well as collecting 250 gold bricks and completing 160 missions, which are scattered across the hub worlds and the planets. Lego games are known for their collectibles, and this is nothing compared to some of the other games, like the Lego Star Wars games, but this doesn't change the fact that this amount of collectibles is just gross. The grind for the levels was pretty grim, I can't lie. It took about 10 hours to beat all of these levels again, and that was without seeing a single trophy. I know trophy hunters need trophies more frequently than that to keep our brains pumped up with dopamine. So my next trophy was for switching on all the red bricks which offer in-game boosts such as more studs and limited fuel for certain suits. 
And finally, after replaying all the levels, some of them twice because I didn't have the right characters unlocked at the time, I had all the mini kits, which I didn't get a trophy for. This level cleanup is by far the worst part of the Platinum Trophy looking back. The hub worlds and the planets were a little bit more enjoyable, although they were a little bit confusing because some of the side missions are locked behind other side missions in other hub worlds and other planets, which is a little bit confusing and annoying. As long as you're not an idiot like me, you'll be fine. I then need to actually earn some trophies, okay, because I've been going a long time, I've been grinding, and I didn't have a single trophy in like 12 hours. There's a lot of trophies tied to very simple things like playing a certain characters and doing certain things with each character, which is what I did next. I'm back in Shazam. In theory, I should get a trophy. I did. Shazam. Nice. Okay, straight in to Bane. Now, if I hold triangle, I should go Mega Bane. There we go. Yes, look how big he is. Big boy. And another trophy, Pain again. There's more trophies I've earned in the last 10 minutes than I have in the last 10 hours of playing this game. Because there's another trophy for playing as Batman in red and blue. This bloke. This bloke. Ah! They, they're popping! They're popping like crazy. So if I play as Batmite, whoever the hell this guy is, and I change his arm. No. Oh, uh, no. To Mr. Piddlick, whatever he's called. Mizzle pull it. But I don't know what he even looks like. I don't know. I'll buy that quickly. Oh, White Lantern. Okay. Mr. Pizzle. Is that him there in the hat? That's him in the hat, right? All right. Yeah! They're popping like crazy. All the goddamn trophies. Look at them all. In that glory. In that glory. Is there any more we can do? Is there any more? Okay, so I'm in here because apparently if you play as Riddler in the back cave, you get another trophy. Right, where is the Riddler? Riddler, where are you? Aha! The Riddler. Ah! Oh, I'm getting so many trophies. My endorphins are just firing right now. My dopamine release. Okay. And then, I'm just popping these motherfuckers like crazy. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. She's down here somewhere. It's really annoying that there's one trophy one trophy, one mini kit in the whole game, which requires Poison Ivy's um, ability. And you don't you don't realize that until you get to it. It's very annoying. But, oh, so many trophies. Brave and the Bold, that's cool. Right, Vampire Batman, where are you? Oh, he's there, look, okay. So now, I am just, I'm just enjoying popping all these trophies right now. Sinestro, oh, Batman gone bad, right, okay. So alongside the Platinum, I actually did complete the entire DLC for this game as well. There's six DLC packs, which thankfully I bought for the combined price of just £4. Each pack is a single level you have to complete and get all the mini kits for, alongside other miscellaneous trophies. Some were shit, some were actually quite fun. The Arrow one was actually my favourite by far. Also, Stephen Amell voices Arrow in this, which I just found hilarious. Oh my god. Look at this, look at this art, this fine archery. I mean, I am killing my own teammates, but you know, that's the, that's just a... A loss of war. Oh, superior archery, sk archery skills. I am something else. Okay. All right. Look at Batman go in his little motorbike. Sick turn. I missed the missed the ramp, but we're all good. We're all good here. Oh, what I failed? I failed. Fuck. How did I fail? So onto the planet cleanup. Oa has a lot of vehicle and flying races you have to complete. Uh, no! No, run through it. No! Fuck! No! How annoying. How annoying. Aha! Yeah, vroom vroom. Do a trophy, do a race with Harley Quinn. And after beating a race with Harley Quinn's motorbike, I unlocked the last trophy for the DLC. So, where's my colleague? So apparently, a colleague. <laughs> apparently if I beat him up, I should get a trophy. Oh, wait, no. No. Oh, wait, right, come over here, Adam, so I can absolutely batter you and send you west. Ugh. 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 Apparently he's invincible. I'll blast him on my beam. There we go, look. Look like that. Aha! Knock, knock. Yay! Trophy. Whoa! Woo! After then doing the cleanup on all of the other levels, I was left with a few other miscellaneous trophies left. The next one was for finding a group of jumping cows on the moon. 
And then I got the trophy for playing as Green Lantern and Green Arrow. One of my final miscellaneous trophies was for bouncing 50 times on something bouncy. Yeah, I found one and I just put the controller down and just left it for two or three minutes and I had the trophy. All right, so after all of the grind that is this game, we are so close to the platinum now. I think I can get all the trophies that are left in about 10 minutes, so if I'm, if I'm pretty fast about it. So the next trophy we need is for, for destroying the hidden Riddler trophy. Now I'm hoping Bat Cow is strong enough to punch this. Oh, Bat Cow doesn't have super strength. That sucks. Right, okay. We'll use um, good old soups for this. Use Cal to get this down. It's a Riddler thing. So I need to destroy that, but obviously I want to do it with Bat Cow because Bat Cow is just the one. Go Bat Cow. You missed it. There we go. Ah, now that's impressive. All right, now, so I'm just flying around Crypto Dog because he's cool as fuck. We need to go to the Watchtower. If I pause it, I'm at 100%, baby. Look at all of them. All those mini kits. All of those gold bricks. Uh, it's, it's a lot of collectibles. I think I should only have two left. I'm just going to get Bat, Bat Dog. Bat Hound. One for crashing this secret party with Kevin West, and then one for doing some Lego Fountain. For the f the, you, have to, you have to have 100% before you activate the Lego Fountain, which is why it's normally the last trophy. So I think we'll go through here. And there's a party. Look, there you go. The green room. All right. Hey, guys. It's all the guys. Oh, they're, they're talking a lot. We'll just run over here. And now there's one trophy left for the 100%, and it should be the Platinum. Yeah, it is what I thought. When I pull this lever, that is only there when you have 100% completion on this game. So, who do we want to pull the lever with? Which character has been my favorite character? I have enjoyed Boot. I've enjoyed Blue Beetle a lot because he has a mixture of good abilities. But we should pull it with somebody funny. So let's pull it with. Oh, we'll just we'll do we'll just pull it with Batman 1969 because he is his level is the best level by far in the whole game. Really fun. Uh, that's all folks i don't see a gold fountain unless this is what it is and there is my platinum world's finest i don't know why the platinum symbol has kind of froze there and just didn't show that's a bit of a weird one but i got the platinum in lego batman 3 it's been an interesting journey i have to say and i have to also say that it's not a good platinum trophy at all the game is fine. The game is for kids. So, you know, you're going to kind of expect it to be basic, but it is so repetitive. And if you just played the game, didn't get the platinum, you know, you probably wouldn't have that bad of a time because it only takes eight, nine hours. But it is the goddamn mini kits replaying the whole 16 levels again is what takes up so much time. And the fact that you can only get certain mini kits, which are tied to certain characters, which you have to unlock in the planets is really annoying so to unlock poison ivy to get all the mini kits i think you have to go into the justice league hall or somewhere to actually find her token so you can't even do all of the levels collectibles first you have to do the levels a bit of the hub world a bit of the planet so it's all really just convoluted and it took me probably 20 hours to do the collectibles i have to say and the dlc dlc was pretty fun pretty short according to this it says it took me 54 hours to beat lego batman take away the fact that i leave this game on idle at least three hours every day i would say take off 20 hours of that i would say 30 to 35 hours is probably more of a closer time after what i spent on it to get the plat so my time with lego batman 3 was over did i enjoy it meh i hear a lot of people saying really positive things about this game series and i'm gonna be honest if you think these are good games you need to play some better games thanks very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to watch a video of me playing some better games why not check out my wolverine or green latin video peace